I think about it every day, and it honestly makes me nervous. Greta Von Bernuth shared her concerns with me on Wednesday. She's an English and Spanish teacher at Erie High in the St. Vrain Valley School District. Her main issue, masks, and the district's policy that they released on June 30th. Students must bring a cloth mask to school and expect to wear it as they enter and at other times, minimal use other than that. That's the part that worried Greta. Minimize the use of masks whenever possible. She's concerned social distancing among students will not be easy to maintain, and she says there's not enough ventilation in her room, so she'd feel more comfortable if her students wore masks at all times in her class. She's healthy, but she cares for her 80-year-old father. My thought is that when school goes back into session, I will not be able to do those things for him because I will not be able to come into his house any longer. She says for weeks she's been told that masks will not be required while students are in class. But here's what the district said Wednesday night. Just to be clear, and I will make this point very clear in my next communication, masks will be expected to be worn by students all the way through pre-K through 12. That's St. Vrain Valley Superintendent Dr. Don Haddad making the clarification that students will have to wear masks throughout class. The president of the Colorado Education Association says in a time where things are rapidly changing, this kind of confusion is not unique to St. Vrain Valley schools. If they are working with the local health department, which they should be doing, to share the data and information, not only with educators, but with families and parents and students. My preference would be to be online, but I understand that that's not tenable. And I agree with that. There is a balance to be struck. But if we can do everything that is being suggested to make us safe, then I'm willing to take that risk. So again, to make this very clear, St. Vrain Valley Schools will be requiring students wear masks inside of classrooms and they will be having mask breaks. The district changed their wording on their website. In the meantime, here are some other mask mandates in the biggest school districts in the Denver metro area. In Jefferson County, masks, uh, face masks will be required unless social distancing can be maintained. Teachers can wear face shields during instruction. DPS will require masks throughout the day, including during class. They will also have mask breaks, just like St. Vrain. Cherry Creek will be releasing more information today, but they say masks will be an important part of their plan. Doug Co told me they're going to release specifics soon about reopening. And then 27J is also still finalizing plans. A spokesperson said that they will most likely be requiring masks. It's just unclear to what extent. Colorado Department of Education guidelines do not say that students must wear masks all day. They just say as much as possible. And Natasha, especially, they really want to emphasize that students should be wearing masks when social distancing cannot be maintained.